What's going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and in this video we're going to be continuing our 2D tower defense tutorial where we're going to allow our turret to actually shoot. So in the last video we set our turret up to follow the enemies and rotate towards them um, which is great but that it doesn't shoot so we, we need it to shoot. So in our turret script we are going to now need a couple more things. One of them is a serialized or oh, we're going to have a serialized private game object we're going to call the bullet prefab which is going to be the bullet we shoot out at the enemies and we also want a private uh, transform going to be called our firing point now this is going to be the location we fire our bullet from um, eg the tip of the barrel now in our attributes we want a serialized private float which is going to be called our firing or bullets we're going to call this our bullets per second so i'm going to call this bps and set this to one because we're only going to be shooting one bullet per second i just want to call this bullets per second um just so we're aware what bps stands for we then want a private um float which is going to be called our time until fire so this is going to be the time we need until we fire the uh bullet and then in our update we want to make sure there is a target um, and we want to make sure it is in range so if we have a target and it's within our range we will then allow to shoot so the first thing we want to do is in here we want to say our time until fire is plus equal to time dot delta time we then just want to say if our time until fire is greater than or equal to our 1f divided by bullets per second so this is going to give us a value of uh, bullets per second if this for it was for example 2 it's going to divide 1 by 2 giving it 0 0.5 meaning this is going to fire a lot sooner so in here we want to go shoot which we will create a um, function for so let's just create a private void shoot and for now we are just going to debug dot log shoot Oh, in string so we actually put something to the log um, and there you go we also then want to set our time until fire back equal to zero which will reset our fire we actually did this in our spawner script in one of the previous videos so this should now run how we expect it to so let's go back to our script and see if once a enemy is within range if our, our, our turret debugs a shoot so let's hit play and then let's keep an eye on the console at the bottom let's actually scale back out um, and then when our enemies start coming in after five seconds we should see shoot there you go you see shoot shoot and you can see it's roughly every one second we've got 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 and 30 so you can see there it's actually calling the shoot script which is exactly what we want so now instead of just calling shoot let's actually instantiate a bullet but we don't have a bullet yet so back in our game what we want to do is create a 2d and we're just going to use a circle for this we could use a capsule or something but i feel like a circle works fine because it's going to be quite small and we're going to rename this to bullet we're going to add a circle collider 2d and we're going to make this a lot smaller than it already is let's put it to 0.2 it doesn't necessarily fit in the barrel but that's fine this is this is fine so let's just pull it here for now so we can see um and i'm going to change the color of this to be a yellowy color maybe ffc 00 it's a nice little yellowy orange um and there you go you can see that's now looking good we also want a rigid body 2d on this which we're going to set to kinematic because kinematic is the only way it's going to be controlled and we also want this to be kinematic and kinematic collisions because we want to essentially hit our um, kinematic enemy, which we also need to enable full use of the kinematic collisions. Now we're going to turn these on to continuous collision detection as well because we want to make sure we actually, when we hit the enemy, we definitely hear and the bullet doesn't pass through. 
So now on our bullet, we want to create a bullet script. Now the bullets inside of a t tower defense game are actually normally quite unique. They normally follow the enemy. So not only do they... Um, not only do we just shoot them out in towards the target, but once we have them shooting out, we actually set the target and the bullet will follow them because it has to hit them pretty much every time. It's kind of how tower defense work. If you missed half of your shots when building a tower defense game, uh, then you've probably got a problem. So we want to actually set a public um transform called the target which we're going to pass through actually we're going to set this to be a private which we're going to have a um setup script for we also want a header called attributes and inside of here we want a serialized field called a private float and this is going to be bullet speed which we'll set to something like 5f for now i think that will work we may need to tweak these values but we can do that in the inspector afterwards we also then want to get let's move this i, I like to put my uh, private variables at the bottom here um, and then i want to get enough a header which is going to be our references uh, and we're going to serialize our private rigid body 2D and we're going to call this the RB, which is what we're going to be using to apply velocity to our bullet. Now, this bullet should forever be following a target. So once the target is set, it will follow the target until it collides and dies, essentially. So inside of our update function, or sorry, we want to make this a fixed update function. We are going to try and find the direction to our target. So let's create a vector 2 called uh, direction, which we're going to set equal to our target.position minus our transform.position. And then we're also going to wrap this inside of a um, curly thing and normalize this so it's only ever between zero and one, the values that this produces. We don't want to say RB dot velocity is equal to our direction times by our bullet speed. Now, this should, in theory, mean as we're going along, if the um, target moves position, it will recalculate the direction and multiply our velocity by this, which hopefully means we don't miss so much. Now, if you want this to be 100% accurate, you probably shouldn't be using velocity and probably use a transform translate method, um, which it still works, but I like using physics. I think it's more fun. So we're going to do this and we can probably tweak the settings to make it work anyway so we need a public void in here and we're going to call this set target which is going to be passed through a transform called we'll just set underscore target and then we'll just set our target equal to the target this will be set within our turret script in our shoot script so now inside of our shoot script we want to get a game object called a bullet which is going to be equal to uh instantiate and we're going to pass our bullet prefab and we're going to put this at the firing point dot position at a quaternity dot identical oh, not in first identity if i can actually spell there we go and that's going to instantiate as a bullet now we actually want to get the bullet script which we're going to call we're going to rename the bullet to be bullet obj and the bullet script is going to be bullet script and set this equal to uh bullet object dot get component and we're going to say bullet now we can say bullet script dot set target and we're going to set the target to our target and this should be everything we need to now i'm just going to do one last check inside of our fix update i'm just going to say if no target then we're just going to return from this now we want to do a last thing we're going to say on collision enter 2d so inside of our on collision enter 2d we want to check our collision is um basically we're going to in the matrix we're going to set so this bullet will have its own layer and it will only be able to collide with the enemy layer so in that case we can just destroy our game object on collision however we then will need to take health from enemy 
but we'll do that in a moment uh we just want to see if this is actually going to all work together that's great let's go back into our game here and let's actually give us a bullet layer so over on the right go to layer add layer and let's create a bullet layer now on our bullet we'll go back and actually apply the bullet layer we can then take our bullet oh and apply the rigid body to it and then turn this into a prefab we then want to go to our turret and pass through the bullet prefab and on our turret we're going to create a new empty or sorry we're going to put this on the rotate rotate point and we'll create a new empty firing point which we are going to set to the tip of the gun so this is where our bullet is going to spawn from so going back to our turret applying the overrides we can then drag in our firing point as well make sure you apply it so it applies to every turret we uh, instantiate then we can delete this bullet from the scene and there you go now we have our turret which will actually shoot bullets hopefully let's hit play and see if we have any errors so here comes our first victim and you see the bullet gets fired and it seems to be colliding with this white box here which is the issue i said before so we need to go to edit our project settings and inside of physics 2d we want to find the bullet and we want to make sure it does not collide with anything other than the enemy so you can see the enemy is the only thing we have ticked in the bullet list here so what we're going to do is just close that and now if we play we should see our bullet will actually hit the target it's intended for just to help see we're going to zoom in just a little so you can see that's one bullet you can see that bullet actually is following its target it's kind of curling and curving but it's following and hitting its target i kind of like the way it's actually curving it looks kind of cool and there you go you can see this is now shooting bullets to hit the target and that's exactly what we want so now we're hitting our enemy the only issue is our enemy isn't taking any damage so what we want to do is on our enemies we're going to add an health script which we're going to create now which we're just going to call health and we are going to open this up in visual studio code once it compiles and inside official studio code we are going to set a header as usual called attributes attributes not attribute because it's just not singular so underneath attributes we're going to create a serialized field called a pri oh, a private integer which is going to be hit points and we're going to set this to default to something like two oh, not two f just two so we're going to allow everything to by default to have two points to hit before it gets destroyed now in here we want to create a public variable called a public void and in here we're going to be called take damage now in here we're going to pass an int of the amount of damage it will do um sorry we're going to pass through a hint called hit or damage which will be the hit points we are applying to this and we're going to say hit point is going to be minus or equal damage this is just going to take away um health based on how much damage we have here we don't want to say if hit points is equal less than or equal to zero then we will destroy uh, this game object also because this is on the enemy script what we want to do is we want to go to our spawn manager our enemy spawner and set it on enemy destroy to info because we're going to be telling it that this enemy has been destroyed so let's go to our bullets and then when we collide with this enemy we want to actually get its um well basically get its health script so we want to say other dot get com or sorry other dot transform or game objects dot get component and we are going to get its health script which we are going to say dot take damage and now we can actually set up a damage point for this so we're just going to say serialized field private float bullet oh sorry private int because we're going to be dealing our damage in integers or damage points and we're going to set it just to one uh for this type of bullet so we're going to say bullet damage one and pass this through 
our script. So now we're going to collide with the other game object, find its health script and apply some damage. We'll then destroy the bullet and spawn enough. Well, obviously, as we go, this will spawn more. So this should, in theory, work. So now let's hit play and see what happens. So here comes our enemies. We hit him once. We hit it twice and you can see it's actually getting destroyed. So if we select one of these clones, you'll see its hit point goes down to zero and then it is destroyed. And in our level manager, we should hopefully go to debug and see that enemies alive is going down as well, which means it's working as intended. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next one, we are going to be allowing to build our turrets in place of these um, grid slots. So we'll be able to be like click here and then spawn one of these robots in or sorry, turrets, which will then fight off the enemies, um, which will be pretty cool. So we're going to be setting up the actual ability to build our turrets in the next episode so if you're excited for that don't forget to leave a thumbs up smash that subscribe button leave a comment down below join the discord and i will see you in the next one peace out